वेलकम टू माई विज न्यूज टू न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू विज फर्स्ट वन इज फ्रॉम द सोमाली रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया वेर अ न्यू आर्म्ड ग्रुप हैज बीन फॉर्म्ड हु इज बैकिंग दिस ग्रुप इज अ सोमाली रीजनल गवर्नमेंट बिहाइंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस ग्रुप इज जबूती बिहाइंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस ग्रुप वेयर विल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ दिस आर्म्ड ग्रुप बी डिप्लॉयड i'm going to see a new a conflict resumption of conflict on a far somali border we have details for you second live yours eritrea where some top level arrests are being reported obviously not officially but some sources are confirming that two top officials part of eritrean government have been put in prison in my server prison reportedly close to asmara they have been put in prison in this prison my server who are these two top eritrean government officials why were they arrested by eritrean security officials firstly viewers the uh, somali region of ethiopia city zone where a new armed group has been founded so while ethiopian federal government is trying to disarm already existing armed groups in ethiopia new armed groups are being founded in some parts of ethiopia city zone is the zone where we have seen clashes between afars and somalis for years For the last two years, I have done several videos on these border clashes: Undofo, Garbai, Se, uh, Udato, and other places uh, have been the areas where fighting broke out uh, on several occasions in the last two years or so. Before that, as well, and uh, we we saw that. Uh, around uh, three to four months ago a far militias launched uh, attacks and they captured undofo and garbaise uh, somalis living in undofo garbaise were displaced from these places uh, since then somali regional government has been planning to retake uh, undofo and garbaise Uh, reportedly now an armed group has been formed in the city zone of the somali region uh, the group was named uh, city liberation front slf but uh, i think yesterday its name was changed its new name is a city defense force the group is armed its members are trained they are around 1000 in number uh, and some say they have backing of somali regional government led by mustafa a president of the region why was this group formed is jibouti involved in the formation of this group does jibouti have a hand in the creation of this group reportedly what we have learned i have some names who is leading this group but i am not going to disclose any names so uh, i can only confirm the group has been formed armed group and hundreds are members based in city zone purpose is a two objective of the group it its aim is to retake undofo and garbaise undofo was taken by afar around 3 to 4 months ago uh around 3 to 4 months if i'm if i'm not wrong uh and uh, somali uh, regional government did not launch a counter offensive on afar militias uh, when they captured undofo now it seems that a counter offensive is being planned not uh, through regional forces but through this faction this new armed group city defense force will reportedly attack the areas taken by afar in recent months we could see resumption of clashes on somali region afar border in coming days city defense will try to take back hundofan garbai se secondly jibouti has a hand in the formation of this group why 
Djibouti is fighting an afar uh, armed group uh, from Djibouti. Fruit fighting for decades, but uh, the group resurfaced lately uh, last month. Uh, Fruit uh, attacked Djibouti army's military camp on Djibouti Ethiopia border. Six soldiers of Djibouti's army are still in the custody of Fruit. And yesterday, Fruit uh, Djibouti's afar. Uh, armed group uh, offered to exchange uh, Djibouti's uh, soldiers uh, in the custody of Fruit for the release of some uh, political prisoners and uh, members of Fruit who are in Djibouti's prisons. Djibouti's government's uh, response is awaited. In Djibouti, there is a far somali isa clash going on for decades. And same is happening on uh, Somali region of far border, a far Somali region clash. And Djibouti allegedly supports Somali ISAs uh, of Somali region of Ethiopia. Djibouti wants to counter the influence of Frud. Frud, which is an Afar group, has its connections, its uh, presence in Ethiopian Afar region in Eritrea as well, some say. Uh, so while uh, Djibouti wants to wipe out fruit from Ethiopia, from Djibouti, it is reportedly backing the creation of a city defense force. City defense force will engage uh, Afar fighters. They could engage uh, a fruit too, if fruit has uh, its uh, visible presence in a far region. But mainly, uh, city defense force will uh, try to take back uh, Garbai, say, and Undofo uh, taken by a far militias a few months ago. So, uh, I think immediate intervention is needed. A federal government must intervene immediately, otherwise uh, we could see start of clashes on uh, a far Somali region border. Yesterday, when Frud offered two exchange prisoners with the Djibouti's government, it said that uh, Ismail Omar Djibouti's president was interfering in Ethiopian internal matters. Uh, Afars accuse Djibouti's government, which is led by Somali ISAs, that they are Somali ISAs of Djibouti are backing Somali regional government of Ethiopia. Secondly, viewers, Eritrea, where some top level arrests are being reported, not officially, but unofficially, some sources are confirming at least two top officials of Eritrean government arrested. Who are these two top officials? Why were they arrested? Firstly, Yusuf Ibrahim, who is head of organizational affairs of PFDJ, People's Front for Democracy and Justice, is Eritrean ruling party, founding party of Eritrea, ruling party of Eritrea, sole legal political party in Eritrea is PFDJ. And Yusuf Sadiq, not Ibrahim, Yusuf Sadiq, uh, correction. Yusuf Sadiq is head of organizational affairs of PFDJ. It means that he is one of top men in PFDJ. Secondly, Indrias uh, Esmiram. Indrias Esmiram is uh, head of Central Regions uh, Cultural and Sports Wing. So, but two are top officials. Uh, reportedly, uh, Indrias uh, Esmiram is very close to Jimane Gabriel. Yuhane Gabriab is right hand of Isaiah Savoki, Eritrean president. He is advisor to Isaiah Savoki. And Indrias Esmiram is right hand man of Yuhane Gabriab. Why were the two top Eritrean government officials arrested? Uh, again, no official word, but reportedly some say, some say that the arrests are linked to corruption. Uh, but again, I'm saying that uh, details are sketchy. 
So elaborate in coming videos about these two top level arrests. Whenever some arrests happen in Eritrea, people say Sasevoki is uh, losing his grip on power. That is why his days are numbered. Uh, but by the way, I don't think that Isasevoki is weak. He's stronger than ever now. His arch rival in the Horn of Africa, TPLF, has been sidelined. TPLF is going to surrender its heavy weapons. So, Isasevoki is stronger than ever. Ethiopia relying on Isasevoki. Somalia getting its military train in uh, Eritrea. Yemen internal conflict there. Sudan internal conflict in Sudan, political, etc. So, uh, Djibouti, small country, cannot challenge Eritrea. Somalia, as I said earlier, it's uh, lots of uh, its issues. So, uh, Eritrea stronger than ever in the region. It means SASF work is stronger than ever in the region. Thank you for watching.